Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I'm coming to you today from Houston, Texas, USA, where we have very, very hot summers. And so I thought it might be nice to make a raw meal using only raw vegetables and fresh fruit. Because Texas used to be part of Mexico, it's a really nice idea also to do it in a Mexican style. We're going to do a little variation on some very traditional Mexican dishes. The first thing I'm going to be making is a watermelon gazpacho, which is usually made just with tomatoes. And then I'm going to serve as a main dish, a garden fresh burrito with a mango salsa, which is also usually made with tomatoes. So we're ready to start our gazpacho. And this is the closest thing to cooking you're going to do for this meal. Because you need to peel the skins off of tomatoes, which is very hard work unless you know the trick, which is you boil some water. So I've got some water boiling back here. And you just put these in for, oh, 30 seconds, really. Not very long. So I'm just going to let those be there for, really, only about 30 seconds. So I'm going to take these out and put them in the cold water. Next thing I'm going to be doing is trying to take this skin off. And you can see how this is happening pretty easily now. See? Just comes right off. And of course you can leave the peel on, but most people really prefer to peel them for the soup. It just makes it a little bit nicer. And then from here, I'm going to quarter it and seed it. And then, once again, we're going to be doing the long strips to make sort of small diced tomato. And you're going to do this with two tomatoes for this soup. Normally, the soup would have a lot more of that, but since we're doing a variation, we're using the watermelon for a more summery taste, you only need two. Once you have these chopped, go ahead and put them in your bowl. And then we're going to do the same thing with a little more than a cup of watermelon. So I have some that's done here already. So I'm going to go ahead and add in, and then I'm going to just show how I cut the cubed watermelon. So same idea. There we go. So you can get to be a real expert at cubing everything for this meal since there's so much of it. Next thing we're going to cube is some fresh cucumber. Again, you want to get the seeds out, so you can just cut them out easily. You don't have to, it's just that the seeds can give people indigestion, and so it's just nicer to cut them out just in case somebody has trouble with it. And again, I cut it lengthwise and then across so that I have small pieces. One large cucumber should do it. And we add that in there. You're also going to use half a green Anaheim pepper and an orange Anaheim pepper. And you want to slice these and cut them. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. And this is a white Vidalia onion. These grow in the United States and they are a sweet onion that only grows in the summertime. So um, if you're using regular yellow onion, you may want to use a little bit less because this is a milder onion that really does have a kind of a sweet taste. And we like to use them in salads. They're very nice raw. Next, I'm going to be grating some fresh ginger. And just do this on the side here. So this is about, oh, maybe a tablespoon at the most. Okay. And lime juice. One lime should do it. Unless you want more. And finally, we're going to be 
using about a handful of cilantro, which I'm going to chop. So You want to, when you buy the cilantro, it's going to be on the stem. This is time consuming, but you want to take the leaves off so that you don't have any stems in there. And you're probably wondering, well, gee, that looks like vegetables. That doesn't look like soup. Well, the soup is coming up. For the soup part, we need to use a blender. So, in order to give us real soup, we're going to take a big bowl of watermelon and just put it in a blender. It doesn't have to be a high-speed blender. And put it on puree. Add it to all of the diced vegetables. Stir all of that in. And we have this beautiful cold soup now. The last touch is to salt it to taste. Today I'm using this beautiful pink Himalayan salt has a lot of iodine in it and it's very good for you. I'm going to use about one teaspoon of this. You can use less, you can use more. And then you just place this in your refrigerator until it's time for your meal. Or you can eat it right away. But it's really nice chilled. So place this aside. Please come back and join us for part two of our show featuring some fresh summer delights. Watermelon, gazpacho, and garden fresh burrito with mango salsa. We'll be showing you how to create a wonderful mango salsa that pairs perfectly with our raw vegan burrito. How do you make and enjoy a burrito without needing tortillas? Find out Wednesday, September 14th on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. May the warm rays of the sun bless your days with carefree joy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.